함께 있었음에 모든 게다 통하니까 Feels like daydreaming 너와 있을 땐난 I love my life 사라지지만 나의 전부 The chemistry is like no other two I've been posting food content for almost four years now. As someone who loves food so much, I wake up and think about what I want to eat every single day. I like to think that my passion for food is also what led me to my dream career and being able to share food content for a living. I don't know if I ever shared this before, but if we were to go back 12 years ago, my first ever blog was actually a blog about weight loss and diet tips. As someone with zero certification or knowledge about food or health science, I had no business doing a blog on weight loss. But growing up, I never saw any vlogs, book, shows, blogs, or magazine ever sharing what a normal happy and healthy person eats in a day. Instead, it's always been about what I eat in a day to lose weight, how I lost X amount of weight and X amount of time, 10 low calorie meals that you need to try, or five things you shouldn't eat if you want your dream body. So in this video, I wanna share realistic what I eat in a day as a happy, healthy, and normal body, featuring recipes that are healthy, but also dishes that make me so happy and satisfy my cravings. Because life is all about balance, just like this chili oil rice ball that seriously looks so good. This looks so good. Chili oil egg always hits the spot. The perfect bite. Let's go. Mm. Mm. This is so good. I can eat this every single day. That's how good it is. This is one of my favorite, favorite smoothies of all time. Normally I also like to add in frozen mangoes, but I don't have any in hand, but it's really good. If you like your smoothies more creamy and thick, you can also add in Greek yogurt or coconut milk. I like mine a little bit more like a juice-like consistency, but the flavor, so good. Today is a work day. We've got tons of meetings and tons of admin work. So I'm gonna quickly finish brunch and get working. See you guys at dinner. Growing up, every time I walked into a 7-Eleven, I was greeted with a delicious smell of roasted sweet potatoes. It's one of my favorite healthy snacks, so let's make it together in the air fryer. Soak sweet potatoes in cold water for 5 minutes, then air fry at 380 for 30 minutes. While we wait, let's make a quick miso butter. Combine butter, miso, and green onion. This butter seriously tastes so good, you can put it on everything. I have a few recipes that I'll link below. After 30 minutes, place the sweet potato in ice cold water. This will shock the sweet potato, making it easier to peel later, but also caramelizing it and adding moisture. Air fry at 380 for another 30 minutes. This is seriously one of the most comforting, healthy, and super delicious snack packed with so much fiber. So I had a lot of people message me on how I make my grained purple rice and I just ran out so I figured we could restock together. I have a lot of different grains here today and you can really play around with the different ratios depending on what you like. I like to keep it separated from my white rice. That way I can play around with the ratio depending on the dish I'm making or what I'm feeling like that day. So I like to start with some short grain brown rice. Next, I'm gonna add in some barley. Some short grain sweet rice. This is gonna give it a really nice chew. Next, we're gonna add in some peeled mung beans. 
My personal favorite is pressed barley. Last but not least, we're gonna add in some black rice and this is what's gonna give it the beautiful purple color. We're just gonna mix everything together. I also had a lot of people asking me, and this is actually the brand of rice that I use. So I use medium grain sushi rice, and this is my go-to brand. It's so good. It's nice and chewy, but still really fluffy. So my go-to ratio is three to one. So three cups of rice to one cup of grains. And I find that that's like the perfect combo of having the nice chew, but still also not being too overly sticky. So this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. This is the ratio that I prefer. Now let's go wash the rice and start making dinner. For dinner today, I'm making air fryer salmon and my new favorite salad. In a bowl, mix mayo, soy sauce, paprika, salt and pepper, lemon juice, and lemon zest. This will help keep the salmon super moist and delicious. Put the sauce over the salmon and air fry at 400 for 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's make the salad. Mix soy sauce, rice vinegar, honey or sugar, roasted sesame seeds, sesame oil, and Korean red chili flakes. This salad dressing is so refreshing. I also had some Japanese leek in the fridge, so I wanted to slice it up. You can use thinly sliced onion or green onion in replacement. Pour the dressing over the kale and spring onion and massage well. And just like that, dinner is served. Hello. Yum. Mmm. Oh wow. I love salmon. It's so good. Yeah. How's mm. the salad? It's actually really good. I like the salad dressing. What's in it? It's like soy sauce, roasted sesame, mm. sesame oil. It's really refreshing. It's mm -hmm. like really easy. It's so yummy. How do you like the rice? Dom doesn't like purple rice normally. <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dom approved? For brunch, I'm making a recipe my dad used to make for me all the time. Tomato and egg noodle soup. It's probably one of the easiest recipes that you can make at home. It's yummy, it's healthy, and it's really satisfying. It's like a warm hug. Scramble eggs together and once it's nice and fluffy, remove and set aside. In the same pan, add in chopped tomato, white pressed green onion, and saute for two to three minutes or until soft. Next, season with soy sauce, ketchup, and white pepper. Add in any stock of your choice. I like vegetable stock or chicken stock. Once simmering, add in the noodles and add back in the eggs. Once the noodles are soft, you are ready to enjoy. Oh, Ooh, this smells so good. This really is actually does. my dad's recipe. I remember having this when we first met. He loves so tomato good. soup. Mm, it's so good. Oh, wow. It's delicious. Right? Yeah. I used to have this for breakfast all the time growing up. Yeah. It's so good. It always hits the spot. It's pretty quick too. Mm, I know it sounds like a weird combo. I don't think people normally have it, but... No, this is really, really good. And I like that for this recipe, you actually throw the noodle directly into the pot so you don't mm. have to cook it separately. Kind of thickens up the nice. soup too. But then just, it's a one pot meal, so it's like way easier. Yeah. Anyways, today is a huge filming day because I'm actually leaving in a few days to go to Taiwan for a whole month. So I'm doing a new series right now where I show Dominic easy recipes that are normally, hopefully in one pot, 
that is quick and easy so he can make it while I'm away on rotation. So we're filming two more recipes today. So it's a full filming day and we got boxing at night and there's packing to do. So mm -hmm. wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> we're going to finish brunch and we're going to get cooking. See you soon. You already know one of my favorite Thursday night routine is making something sweet after the gym. This week I'm making a yummy apple dessert in the air fryer since I had a bunch of apples left over in the fridge. In a bowl mix apple with lemon juice, sugar, cornstarch and cinnamon. In a separate bowl mix oatmeal, brown sugar and cinnamon. This is a gluten-free dessert that's super yummy and delicious. Mix well, then add in melted butter. You can also use coconut oil instead. Add in the apple and layer on the crumble. Air fry at 350 for 18 minutes. Top with your favorite ice cream and enjoy. Hi guys, happy Friday. I stayed up till pretty late last night finishing the book. We read The Manor House, which is gonna be for book club tonight. And that book was interesting. I can't wait to discuss it with the girls later because yeah, it, it's a lot, it's a lot. I think I give it like a three, 3.5 out of five. Anyways, my sister is coming over soon because she's actually hosting book club today and we're gonna work on the deck together. So we're actually gonna have brunch together. So I think I'm gonna be making kimbap as well as fish cake soup. I am starving, so let's get cooking. Let's start by making an easy Korean fish cake soup. In a pot, add in leek, onion, daikon, water, and dashi soup packet. Bring it to a simmer and let it cook on medium heat uncovered for 30 minutes or until daikon has softened. In the meantime, let's prep the kimbap. You can add in any filling of your choice. Let's start by prepping the spinach by blanching it with hot water, drain and season with sesame oil, and a pinch of salt. Next, saute sliced carrots with sesame oil and a pinch of salt for four to five minutes or until soft. In the same pan, fry up eggs and slice it up. For the tuna, mix Japanese mayo, black pepper until nice and creamy. And finally, for the rice, mix sushi seasoning and sesame oil. Now all we have to do is assemble. You can really customize by adding any other fillings that you have. Just make sure everything is evenly distributed. I find that prepping all the ingredients separately really get different textures and flavors, which makes the kimbap super delicious. Like, look at all these beautiful colors. Seriously, so good. After 30 minutes, remove the onion and the leek and add in fresh cake skewers. Simmer for another 10 minutes and garnish with green onion. Feel like falling deeper, For book club, I want to bring my extra creamy macaroni salad that's packed with lots of veggie. Mix mayo, Japanese mayo, mustard, rice vinegar, milk, black pepper, sugar, and a pinch of dashi powder. This sauce is seriously so creamy and packed with so much flavor. 
Add in any veggie you like. I have red pepper, celery, red onion, sweet corn, green onion, and imitation crab meat. Finish off with a creamy sauce and you're ready to enjoy. As someone who took years and years to love myself again, it is hard work and it takes time. But end of the day, being happy and healthy is all that matters. To work out not to look a certain way, but to strengthen my body. To eat not to lose weight, but to feel my body. To allow myself to rest, sleep, laugh, relax, and just be happy. So here's my realistic what I eat in a week as someone who is happy, healthy, and living life. And I hope this video inspires you to be the same because you are beautiful, you're perfect, and you deserve to be happy. I hope you like this vlog and I'll see you next week. Love you.